friends, welcome to another unboxing video. I am back with my glasses because it seems like many of you apparently like my glasses. It must be the intellectual look because I don't know what else it could be. <laughs> The absolutely wonderful news about unboxing videos is that we are currently at July, which means we are only August, September, October, November, only four months. Dang it. Every time I think it's close, it's far. We're four, we're, we're four months behind, which is definitely better than last time where I was, I think, six months behind. We are catching up. We're making progress here. Don't judge me. <laughs> Also, in one of my videos, I said that I would pin a hug, and I promise you, I wrote one, and I pinned it, and then it disappeared. Apparently, my own comment went into spam. So I'm gonna try that again and see how it goes. So make sure you check the pinned comment if you want a hug. I'll put a hug up there, okay? Before we continue with today's unboxing, let's talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. I am really happy that this vlog channel is getting sponsored, so thank you, Skillshare, for not just being an amazing supporter on my main channel, but also on my vlog channel. For those of you who don't know Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands upon thousands of inspiring classes for creatives like you and I, where millions come together to take their creative journey to a whole new other level. Topics that range everything from creative writing, film and video, crafts, and loads more. Even my good friend Jazza has a class here on Skillshare called Mastering Illustration, Sketching, Inking, and Color Essentials. I'm definitely not biased. It's not like Jazza's one of my favorite people. He has one of my favorite so whether you're a beginner, a pro, or even advanced, as long as you're like me and you're a lifelong learner, Skillshare is perfect for you because it's not just classes, but it's a community where there's even a section where you can talk about the projects that you're doing. So think of it as a membership with meaning. This is a wonderful opportunity for you to get lost in creativity. Some of the classes that I am currently following are for Final Cut Pro. Even though I know how to edit, there are so many things I don't know about Final Cut Pro, especially because we are working on a really special project. Hopefully it'll be out in a couple of weeks. But the class by Moss Chaudhary, Create and Edit Cinematic Video on Final Cut Pro X, is definitely getting my creative juices flowing. And I think expressing ourselves creatively is more important now than ever, especially with everything going on. So make sure you check the link in the description box below because the first 1,000 grains to click the link will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. There are absolutely no risks whatsoever. And if you like it, it starts at only $10 a month for an annual membership. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Now we have a package from Tennessee and this one is from Heather and on the outside it says toy cars that's interesting that I would be getting toy cars I think I know what it could be and if it's what I think it is then I'm going to be just a little panicky in a good way because right as borders started to close there was one item I really wanted from the US but we can't go as Canadians to the US so I think it might be <gasps> it is it's no surprise that in addition to My Hero Academia, I am a huge fan of Ninja Turtles. Heather. I posted that I really wanted these because they only had them in the US, not in Canada. And it's a Hot Wheels Ninja Turtle edition. So we have Raphael, Mikey, the turtle wagon, Donnie, and Leo. So we have the entire collection. Ermi, good. I have the note. Thank you so much. Let's read the note. There's a cute little piggy right on there. Thank you so much for finding these for me. I'm sure they were kind of a challenge to find. I really appreciate it. I hope they weren't too much of a challenge. I really don't like putting you grains through difficult situations or, you know, hunting for anything for me. I really appreciate everything that you do for me. And I really appreciate that you actually went out and got these, so. Thank you. I really am lucky with you grades. Thank you so much. These are so cute. Next, we have Elizabeth from Virginia and it's pretty soft. I'm really curious what it is. Feels like opening gifts for Christmas every time. Oh. Of course I'm gonna open it like this. I am very tactful and I promise you grains that is a lie. <laughs> I am not tactful at all. I always rip things up when I don't mean to. We have the note. So I have two notes. One of them is from Elizabeth who gave me a book recommendation called Warriors by Erin Hunter. I love book recommendations. I love reading. So Elizabeth, I will definitely check it out. And apparently Elizabeth chose the most colorful and obnoxious masks so that me and Sika can wear. That is so thoughtful. I have goosebumps right now. Thank you so much. I love colorful and fun masks. I kind of wear them 
fashion. It's like a fashion statement. I have no clothing fashion at all. But if I can make myself more fashionable with masks, heck yeah. And I also have a note from her mom, Sarah. And these are masks made with love by Sarah Low DVM. I hope there's a card in there, Sarah. All right, let's find out. Oh my God, <laughs> that is so colorful. And it's cats. Oh, that is so cute. So the first one is a beach type theme mask. That is cute. Oh my God, we are getting into winter now. So a lot of people will not be pleased if we have beaches. So it will definitely be obnoxious as you said, Elizabeth. And the next one is a kitty unicorn. Oh, that is cute. So here we have rainbow unicorn kitty cat. And I feel like Sika is probably going to take this from me. So we're going to try these and decide which one. I love the fact that they're both blue and they're both kitty cats. I don't think they're obnoxious. I just think they're colorful and that definitely suits my aesthetic for masks. Thank you so much. This is really fun. It's so relevant and very thoughtful. Package from Austin from Kansas, I believe. And it is quite, quite the big box over here. Where does it open from? There is tape everywhere. Grains do not do this to me. Don't put tape everywhere. I know you're trying to secure it. Well, luckily I have a sharp pointy thing. I see a lot of glitter. Oh my God, please don't tell me this is a glitter box. And I hope it didn't just go kaboom on the inside. <laughs> Let's see. I hope this is where it goes. I know you're trying to secure it. But think of the grains, think of me. <laughs> and, Oh, quite a bit of this. And I found the note and it is from Sarah who watched My Hero Academia and here's the note. Thank you so much, Sarah, and I really hope you enjoyed it. I love heroes and I love different kinds of stories that basically talk about working together and making society a better place. So if you haven't watched My Hero Academia, that's your homework grains. All right, let's see what's inside. We have some kitty cat stickers. We have some really cute pillow plushes, one in a heart and the other one in a butterfly. This is really neat. Is that paper? Not paper, but it's very pleasant to keep touching. <laughs> some plant stickers. What is that? I think we have some artwork. Let's put the artwork on the side for now. Oh, that is so cute. It says for Splinter and Ramses. We have a cute little narwhal, narwhal, narwhal. Let's hear the correct pronunciation. I never remember. Every time I hear the correct pronunciation of narwhal, I keep forgetting it. So here. In American English, narwhal. In British English, narwhal. Are these really cat toys? Cause I feel I've seen these in the parrot toy section. They might enjoy it. Oh, this is so cute. And we have a super colorful koala. I'm sure the boys are absolutely going to love it. So they're gonna have a chance to play with these. Next, we have some looms. I think this is a ring and this is a bracelet. Or are they both bracelets? No, I don't think it can work as a bracelet. Oh, never mind. They can both be bracelets. I was like, nah, my wrists are too big, but no, it works. Thank you. Next, we have two cat pins. And we have a card with another note from Sarah that says most of the items in here are handmade. That is really cool. Butterfly perler bead, a heart perler bead. If you grains have never done perler bead before, it is quite the time consuming art. So I have a complete newfound appreciation for it since I tried doing it a couple years ago. And now for the artwork. <laughs> Here's me saying English number one. That's definitely me, especially I tried to say narwhal, but that didn't work, or did it? And then we have a Harry Potter coloring page. Ooh, more creatures from the Harry Potter world. Thank you so much, Sarah, for taking the time to organize all these cute little compartments in the package and for the absolutely adorable notes. This package is from Nikki from California. Look at the amount of stamps on there. This is pretty impressive. All right, how, how do I open this? Is there, is that a tab? Yes. And what do we get? Oh, interesting. Oh, this is really stuff. Oh, snacks, pineapple pastry. Okay, hang on, let's pull everything out and find out what we're dealing with here. A bunny. So the first thing that stands out is a bunny. I still don't see a note. We have another bunny, but this time it's a pen carrot. How does it, oh, there it is. A pineapple pastry snack. And now this here is wrapped up really nicely. So I'm guessing this might be the note. Let's find out. Only one way to do it because there's just tape everywhere. And 
How do I get the note up? We have a card and we have some notes. At this point, I don't want to use the cutter because I'm not quite sure what I'm cutting into. So we're taking out the big ones. Ooh, what is that? Oh, oh, that is so cute. <laughs> We have a cute little saltiness intensifies frame. That is really cool because it's made on a canvas, but as you greens can see, there's sewing done right on top. So it's like a mixed media. That is adorable. I'm going to put this on my background. So the note from Nikki says that this here was a quarantine craft. And I'm really happy that I was able to get you into crafting and creative again. That really makes me so happy. But also here's Nikki's information. I absolutely love this. I can't, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna have to find a spot where I can fit because my background's getting a little busy. By the way, I've put stuff on there that you've sent. Oh my gosh, why is that salt shaker still peeking from the corner? <laughs> this background is dynamic, so there will be changes here and there depending on what I get. And then other times I'll just put them in my box of awesome stuff that Ukraine sent over. This pack package has no name written on it other than mine, so I'm really curious who it's from and where. It just says international mail, so I'm guessing the US, perhaps? I'm being as meticulous as I can with- oh, no, that is not meticulous. Without ruining whatever is on the inside. No! How am I supposed to get there? I don't know if you grains can see this, but there's tape on top of this, so I can't really pull this out. I'm gonna have to tear it. Yeah, no choice. <laughs> And what do we have in here? It feels laminated. Ooh, that is so cute. First, let us get the note. And this note is from Megan, who does pixel art in order to help them calm down. I definitely 100% agree that being creative really does help us calm down. I know that I personally absolutely lose my time. Like I don't even have a sense of time. I could be sitting down and crafting for eight hours straight and it feels like it's only been half an hour. I don't know how that happens, but it seems like it does. And Megan is also doing her bachelor's degree for teaching. That is really cool, fellow teachers unite. So let's take a look. Oh my god, we have Leo and Donnie, Ninja Turtles. So it seems like a Ninja Turtle. Oh my god. I love Ninja Turtles so much. These are adorable. They kind of remind me of Mega Man, the pixel art for Mega Man. I love Pose, super cute. And I love the fact that- <gasps> Megan, why you gotta do this to me? Why you gotta do this to me? Oh, this is my husbando. I love All Might so much. Believe it or not, All Might in his decrepit form is my favorite, even though his heroic form, I wouldn't say no. But I do love him in his original state, which to me is because of the personality. That's, that's the reason why I like characters, is personality-wise. I just love how he's so helpful and just so sweet to the students. I do have a so soft, soft spot. English! Cooperate. I have a soft spot for teacher characters. I love the mentor type characters. So, oh my god, that is awesome, Megan. I love it. And Bear. <laughs> and it says Angel. Oh, these are really awesome pixel art. Have you ever tried doing digital versions? Megan, I'm really curious. These are really fun. I definitely want to frame these and put them around my room. This is so cute. Thank you so much for making these and thinking about me. That is really sweet. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to send me something. If you want to watch the previous vlog, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something on my main channel, definitely feel free to check up down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.